Hi there. TwinGate makes it easy to provide users with remote access to private resources, whether those are in your data center, your private cloud, or SaaS. Like a traditional VPN, TwinGate does not require you to open any inbound ports anywhere. You can protect your infrastructure and users easily without any exposure to the public internet. Let's jump in. Now, what we're looking at here is the admin console for a new TwinGate account. In it, I have a remote network that essentially maps to my AWS network, which itself contains two separate endpoints that are two Windows servers. Now, for a user to be able to connect to one of our private IPs, we need what we call a TwinGate connector, and it needs to be deployed within our private network. Now, the connector is very small. It can be deployed in a container or a VM, and it requires, again, no inbound open port through your firewall. Let's deploy one of those connectors now. Great, our connector is now live. Because TwinGate is a zero trust solution, by default, users won't have access to any endpoints. Our end user's client is on, but shows no resource. And if we try to ping either of the endpoints we have in our private network, neither of them will establish. Now we can fix that as an administrator by in TwinGate creating what we call a resource. A resource is the first step towards granting endpoint access to users. Let's start broad with the entire subnet in this case. And we will give access to everyone for this particular resource for the time being. As soon as we do this, if we go back client side, now that our client is still on, their permission should automatically change, giving access to two of the endpoints that are on the subnet, which is why you can see the ping going through now. Now, TwinGate is a zero trust platform, which means that ideally you would declare resources for endpoints individually. Here, we will restrict our access to a single one of the two Windows servers that we have. And while we're at it, let's add an alias because not everyone can remember IP addresses. Let's update the resource. As soon as we do this, the permission should change for my user. And one of the two servers will stop responding while the other one will continue to respond. There we go. This one has stopped responding because this IP address is not known as a resource. And if we changed the IP address to mywindows.int, now the ping establishes again because the alias leads to the IP address of the same server. At this point, you may choose to integrate your identity provider to sync users and groups from your identity provider into TwinGate to grant different groups different access to resources. Now, at this point, you could go a little bit further and change your security policy to only allow access to devices that are trusted by TwinGates and require MFA before a connection can be established. If you choose to do this, all you have to do is toggle the policy at resource level. And then as an end user, if I were to attempt to connect again to my Windows server, the connection won't establish right away because I have to pass some security checks first. The security checks in question will be MFA or, in this case, biometrics. However, in this case, it says that my device needs to be verified. As an administrator, I can do this by going to devices, selecting the device in question, and verifying it. Now, if I were to connect again, I will get a notification that I need biometrics. And if I fulfill this, the connection should now establish and my ping should respond. As you saw, we deployed a simple connector to our private network, didn't open any port anywhere and gain granular access to resources behind the firewall. The same can be done for any type of environment, any type of cloud, self-hosted or SaaS apps. It is more secure than a VPN. It is easier to configure and maintain and much faster. It is also possible to do device security and much more. So come check us out and give us a try.